Let's get this stuff out and see, see what we've got here. In a classroom at the National Aquarium in Baltimore, 10 secondary school students are preparing for a lesson. But look at the camouflage on it. The eyes, mm -hmm. the containers that are made from them. We have a frog. They're also preparing a show and tell presentation to give to a group of children and creating costumes for a play that they've written. And where's the poison dart frog container? Okay. Due to their age, this preparation and planning appears to be schoolwork, but it isn't. In fact, these students are employees of a very special program called Aquarium on Wheels. There's a lot of kids who who do not, they don't have the, you know, opportunity to come to the aquarium or see live animals or anything like that, so we bring the aquarium to them. The overall objectives of Aquarium on Wheels are to entertain and educate. This year's goal is to explain the importance of the world's rainforests to young people. These student teachers want to help their young audience to better understand conservation. The play is about a species threatened by the loss of the rainforest because it relies on it for food, the monkey. They're going to cut down this tree. They're going to cut down this tree? Yeah. How am I going to find my leaves to eat? That means I'm going to have to fight other monkeys. I can't fight other monkeys. I'm going to mess up my hair. <laughs> We're trying to get through to the kids that saving one tree can be important to all the animals in the rainforest. For aquarium administrators, on the other hand, the program is about more than just teaching biology or even teaching about the environment. It's about offering student employees lessons for life. Martha Schaum is the program coordinator at the aquarium. Most kids like to play in the water, let's be realistic. So marine biology is a really great vehicle to use to teach the other skills that they need to know. One set of skills that the secondary school students need are the communication skills necessary to get and keep a job. I think for many of them, probably for most of them, they are probably the first in their, in their family to go to college. And so what we're doing is coming along behind them and saying, you can do it. I wouldn't be the person I am today if it wasn't for them. Basically, they taught me responsibility. That's a big thing I've learned here. Now, the rainy season, it rains like all day. They knew we were going to discuss the rainforest. That's a big topic. They had to decide how they wanted to present it, the concept that they wanted to use. They had to write the script. They had to decide the sorts of things that they wanted in the lab. Through this work, the student teachers learned an enormous amount about organization and planning, and they also learned a bit about themselves as well. It means a lot to me. Like I said, I've been here for three years and I really feel like I've helped a lot of people understand conservation. However, for many of these teenagers, the real value of Aquarium on Wheels is more personal. It's about their dreams for their lives. At first, it just seemed like a really cool job to work at the aquarium. And now that I've been working here, this I finally found out I would like to be, because I found out that I would like to be a marine biologist. I want to be an environmental lawyer, so it helps me out a lot. It really, the program really means a lot to me because um, I want to major in marine biology. And here at the aquarium, I can get the experience that most other students wouldn't be able to receive. The program is proving to be advantageous for these students and helping them to prepare for their future professional lives. For Martha Schaum, the program allows her to achieve personal and professional satisfaction from watching these teenagers grow as people. This program has meant more to me than anything else because I've just, I have watched these kids grow and develop. The Aquarium on Wheels program is having a powerful impact on more than just the rainforests. It's having a positive effect on everyone involved with this very special program. <laughs>